Mm-hmm. I did leave the wedding early with Margaret. Okay. Um, which in retrospect, I shouldn't have done and I regret. And I actually reached out to Teresa and apologized to her about it. I'm so excited as a Jersey girl. I just live for Real Housewives of New Jersey. So how did you feel going into this season as a newbie? Were you excited? Were you anxious? Were you nervous? Were you all the above? Uh, I mean, I was completely (laughs) terrified, of course. I was excited too. I mean, I'm, you know, 54 years old. So to have this kind of adventure at this point in my life, it was really, it is, it was and it is really exciting, but of course, really, really scary. Definitely. What advice did Margaret give you before cameras started rolling? She gave me the advice she always gives me, which is really just like, you know, be yourself. Mm -hmm. And she, it's funny, um, she didn't give me too many pointers. I think she really wanted me to find my own way, which I appreciated. There was no, you know, this talk to this person this way or don't talk to this person this way at Mm -hmm. all. She was really just sort of open and oh, she always is and encouraging. Right. So she didn't warn you about anybody? Listen, I'm a viewer, so (laughs) she didn't have to warn me too much. (laughs) You know, I just, I know what she's been through, right? Mm -hmm. But she never set it up so that I should be her soldier. Um, You know, she let me have my own experience. Mm -hmm. Were you nervous about meeting anybody in particular? I was nervous about meeting everybody in particular. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, (laughs) there's that. You know, I've known Dolores longer than I've known Margaret. Um, and I had met Melissa quite a few times and I had met Jackie. So it, I wasn't really, I wasn't brand new. Sure. Um, I did have like those, those connections, but mm-hmm. still, yes, of course I was, I was, uh, shaking a little bit. Yeah. But you weren't the only new face that we we're meeting this season. We have right. Rachel and Danielle as well. Did right. the three of you right. bond together at all? So, um, definitely at the beginning, we, the newbies stuck together. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. And you know, I don't know if you know, Rachel Fuda is now my daughter. I have a daughter. I can probably say that she might not like it. <laughs> Rachel has a mother who I'm actually also very close to. But um, I don't know, something weird went down there where this 31-year-old person uh, just crept herself right into my heart. And she's like, you know, it's ridiculous. She's like a daughter to me. That's so funny. I love that so much. Um, Weird, but yeah. (laughs) Um, You know, being a new person coming and thrust into these dramatic situations that have been brewing for a number of seasons, were you surprised to see Margaret and Teresa kind of squash their drama in the first episode? Uh, I was surprised and I was happy. Mm -hmm. I was actually thrilled. Mm -hmm. So, you know, listen, it's funny because when they're not going at it, it's, I feel like it's very easy to see why they would be friends. Like they have this energy when they're together Mm -hmm. that is so enjoyable to watch. I mean, not always, but when it's good, you know, it's good. So yeah, Mm -hmm. I was, I was excited to see it and I knew that Margaret really wanted it. So I was Mm -hmm. happy for her. Yeah. Not sure how long it lasts, but what was your relationship like with Teresa this season? Teresa, um, interestingly, um, just was very sweet, kind, warm and open with me. And I get that question because, you know, she knew I came in as Margaret's friend. Um, but she couldn't have been any more welcoming, which, Mm -hmm. you know, which means a lot. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, as somebody that's watched the show and probably has kept up with Melissa and Teresa's, uh, issues that have happened in the past, and it seems like that, you know, kind of spewed over from the reunion. Did you take a side in any of this? Did you understand why Teresa didn't have Melissa in the wedding? Do you understand why they didn't go to the wedding? It's really tricky, right? Mm -hmm. Because you become close to certain members and of the cast and maybe you're more close to certain members than to other members it doesn't mean that you don't like the other members but you hear and you um you know you sympathize with people's feelings and and you get maybe more information from one than from the other and you're in the mix though right so you're in this group of women and dealing with them and you're not just dealing with your one friend who is so upset because somebody stabbed them in the back you the back you're you know trying to sort of balance so i do understand where and at times i just really understood where teresa was coming from she was really open with me about what she was going through i really love melissa and understand how she felt and feels. And it was a very tough call, that wedding. So it was just horrible, you know, all around. But do I, if you're asking me if I understand why she didn't go, yes, I do. Yeah, would you have not gone? Um, I don't know, you know, listen, like all of us, like I've had bites with my family that have, 
you know, lasted more for more time than I would have wanted. I, I think there was at one point in my life where I didn't speak to my sister for a year, maybe. Mm -hmm. And it's the worst, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's like something that just weighs on you every day. Mm -hmm. And, and ironically, she got married when we weren't doing well. Mm -hmm. And I did go to the wedding and there's a picture of me in it like this, like <laughs> <I'm> just yelling. <laughs> But listen, and what we went through, I can't even be compared. I mean, Melissa and Teresa are in the spotlight and they've been through yeah. so much and mm -hmm. it's so hard. So I'm not really comparing, but I don't know what I would have done if I was in Melissa's shoes. I feel terrible for, for all parties. Right. And it seems like we're de dealing with a big rumor that happens this season that Melissa may have cheated on Joe. You know, what was it like kind of going through that? And did you feel for Melissa during that situation? And how did she handle it? I don't know what you're talking about. Say what? I'm sorry, you've seen that. What? Can you hear You know, this whole rumor that we see in the trailer. I I don't know. I honestly, rumor, what rumor, what? I mean, there's, there's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of like, you know, buzz and back and forth. And it's not the first time, right? I think that there have been rumors about and will be rumors about whomever is on the show. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I felt terrible for Melissa. Yeah. It was and is like this really ugly rumor. Mm -hmm. um, and so not easy, you know, not easy to watch a friend have to deal with that. Yeah. You know what I like about you so far, just seeing in the first episode and in the trailer, it seems like you were very unfiltered and kind of tell it as it is. Were you ever hesitant to do that? Or were you like, you know, I'm going to, you know, make my opinion known. I love that. Thank you for saying that. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't think I was ever hesitant to do that. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's just who I am to a fault. I think at times, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, my mom is always like, like, not everyone needs to know every thought that goes through your head at every minute, Jennifer. So I probably, maybe I sometimes should filter myself more than I do, mm -hmm. but it kind of is something that, that comes naturally to me. Did it get you in trouble at all this season? You know, it's funny because I think, yes, it did, but it also gets me in trouble not in the season. Yeah. You know, it's like, I sometimes try to play devil's advocate, right? Um, not always. And, and, you know, you love someone, you want to hear really what they're saying. And even if you disagree, try to get your head around the way that they feel. Mm -hmm. But yes, there are definitely times where I'm like, well, what about this? And maybe you should look at it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, and not everybody's always open to that, but I try. Yeah. Yeah. It was who in particular wasn't as open to what you had to say maybe this season? I mean, have you seen The Real Housewives of New Jersey? <laughs> I have. <laughs> Everybody wants to hear what I got to say. I mean, people get very, <laughs> some get very like serious about where they're coming from. Yeah. So, you know, not everyone was waiting for Jen Fessler to make it right. right. <laughs> Were you ever nervous about how this could affect your friendship with Margaret going on the show? And did it change? No, it didn't change. If anything, our friendship is stronger. And I wasn't nervous about it because she never said to me anything but be you. Like she was never like, you know, and I expect you to have my back and be my soldier, never. As a matter of fact, the opposite, you know, she didn't want me to go in and decide that I, you know, didn't like this person and that person because she didn't like this person. Um, so no, I wasn't really nervous about that. And Margaret is, has even before the show, when we became friends, she was so, she has this whole um, maternal side to her. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see it. I mean, I always saw it on the show mm -hmm. and I have that too. And she's very warm and, and she's a caretaker. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't, I never worry about that with her. She's, I just adore that woman. Yeah. Who maybe surprised you the most out of the cast? Uh, no, that's a really good question. I had some deep conversations with Teresa that mm -hmm. I didn't expect. Really nice, deep conversations. Um, and I could tell you that, you know, Jennifer Aiden is funny. Mm -hmm. She's just quick. I, I mean, she, her mind like works like this. Mm -hmm. You know, Dolores and I have loved each other for years. We were friends before Mark and I were friends. Mm -hmm. um, Melissa's just a mush, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, she's just like, funny and fun and mushy. And Jackie is, I didn't expect to become as close to Jackie as I did. Mm -hmm. We became very, very close. Mm -hmm. We're a lot alike. Um, she just has like such a good heart and she's a really good listener. So I didn't know 
I wouldn't have suspected going in that that I would have gotten so close with Jackie so quickly. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that was a little surprising. Definitely. Did you go to Teresa's wedding? I did. It yeah. was beautiful. Yeah. Is do you feel like Louis is definitely her soulmate? I don't know if my husband's my soulmate. I mean, actually, <laughs> listen, they are they're obsessed with each other. Yes, yes, they seem to be soulmates. I mean, yeah. I am not one like yes. I'll go with yes. Right. What was the wedding like? I over the top. Mm -hmm. I did leave the wedding early with Margaret. Okay. Um, which in retrospect I shouldn't have done, and I regret. And I actually reached out to Teresa and apologized to her about it after the fact, like maybe the next day. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like, it's, um, you're, you're juggling. This is, this is trying to figure out what the right thing is. Right. And, and I had become really, really close with Melissa and felt terrible for her. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so maybe I can do this and feel like Melissa will feel like I'm supporting her and I'll, but you don't, at least where I, where I'm sitting, like I had no right going to a wedding and making any kind of a statement. So I was, I really felt like shit about that. Yeah. Um, but Teresa was very gracious. I called her, thought about it. Dolores actually and I spoke about it and she was really nice about accepting my apology. That's Not cool. too early. I didn't leave like, you know, we went into the reception, but mm -hmm. something that I wouldn't do again. Yeah. Do you think Dolores is next? Do you think she's the next one to get engaged? I hope so. I hope so because I just want her to be forever happy. And he is such a stud. <laughs> yes. She's just the best. And together are adorable. Mm -hmm. How was the trip to Ireland? It seems like everybody had so much fun. It was so much mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> and, you know, listen, I'd never been on a cast trip before. I've never been on a cast before. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know, you know, how that would go down. I mean, certainly it was, right. there was drama, but we laughed our way through it. Like it was, it was really fun. And by the way, I'd always wanted to go to Ireland. Yeah. So I was just like psyched. And it was, I mean, that's where I got the nickname Messy Fessy. So I don't know, like, I think everyone, we all laughed together. A lot of it was at my expense. And people were really more laughing at me maybe than with me, but it was a blast. We had I love so that. Fun. So much fun. I mean, speak, speaking of messy, Teresa recently said on her podcast that Margaret is messy, so involved and so toxic and behind a lot of the stuff that happens on the show. What is your reaction to that? I don't think that Margaret's messy. And I actually, it's funny because when I get messy, it annoys Margaret. She doesn't like, like, she doesn't like sloppy, messy, but I don't see her that way mm -hmm. at all. I, I certainly don't see her as a shrinking violet. I mean, she, she's not going to hold back. Um, you know, that's part of what makes her, her, mm -hmm. but I don't, I think she is thoughtful. She's not, she has a sharp tongue mm -hmm. and she says some things that and you'll see as the season progresses that I don't always love the way she approaches things mm -hmm. um because she has a really sharp tongue yeah. but i would not call her messy no no cool. jen i really appreciate you taking the time i'm so excited thank to see you, how this season plays out and you're thank such you a so fun much. addition i love it thank you so much happy thank valentine's day you too have a great one thank you okay. bye bye Bye. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.